Hey YouTube, this is Shantae with Just How I Planted and welcome to my channel. You might know me from Facebook and Instagram as the owner and creator of the Grow Girl Planters. If you don't know me on Instagram, go ahead and get to know your girl. I'll be sure to link that in the description below. So today we are going to be making, well, we're not gonna be making, but I'm going to show you how I made this awesome snake plant wall behind me. This video is long overdue, and if I'm being honest, I actually shot this like in early spring, but I'm just now posting it. So although the time for back um, backyard makeovers is nearing to an end, you can still totally make the snake plant wall. You can have it outside next spring, or you can even do it inside your own home. The um, tutorial that I originally saw was on YouTube and she did it inside her wall and she um, like lined her living room. So, I mean, you can totally do it any time of year, but I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you how I made this awesome snake plant wall. Before we get any further, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments that you subscribe so I can greet all my new subscribers. And without any further ado, let's get into today's video. For this project, you are going to need a snake plant. I got mine from Home Depot and I believe it was about $14.99 or $6.99 for this, I believe it's an eight inch pot. And you will also need a rectangular um, shaped planter of your choice. They have them in plastic, they have them in wood, and they might also have them in ceramic. I chose the plastic because it was the most affordable for me. So you're going to start by removing the plant from the plastic planter and just gently loosen the soil up. Um, so for me, this did not take very long. I actually was able to just break everything up and it once I loosened up the soil and cut the I believe they're called rhizomes, which is the part that connects the snake plants, like the offshoot. I was able to loosen it up. And then once it was loose, it kind of like formed a uh, like a straight line almost. You're going to want to line the bottom of your planter with soil and the amount of soil that comes with the pot is not going to be enough soil. So of course you're going to need soil to fill in the sides and top it. So keep that in mind when you are um, doing this project. I went ahead and sped this process up for you so as not to bore you to death. But basically here, all I'm doing is gently loosening up each um, plant until I can get it to form somewhat of a row. Now this would have been a lot easier if I had somebody to assist me um, holding the plant up because of course they kept falling over, but I was able to get it done. You just have to be a little strategic in your methods. Um, so I just did a little bit at a time. And um, like I said, this was a really quick project. It probably took me about 10, 15 minutes. So I just used my arm to hold it up on the backside while I filled um, the rest with soil. Now you might notice that the soil that the plant came with was, um, it didn't have as much perlite as I like, so I did go back after I planted everything and added more perlite just for drainage because this is going to be an outside plant and I can't control how much water it's going to get. I did not want it to have root rot, so I did go back and add that extra perlite just for better um, aeration and drainage. I initially wanted to line my wall with these snake plants, but opted for something different. Mm -hmm. 
So thanks so much for sticking through and watching this easy tutorial with me on how I repotted my snake plant into an awesome snake plant wall. I look forward to seeing you in the future in my future videos. Make sure you are liked, make, make sure you are subscribed so you can catch all my future content and don't forget to hit that notification bell, bell, bell. See what I got on my mind. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Happy planting.